are Jennifer Aniston, Scarlett Johansson, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Connelly, and Jennifer Goodwin on the big screen together. What do you get, people? You get that amazing hot cast in the hit movie. He's just not that into you. Check it out. He lost his cell phone. He says That's different why he never problem. Ladies, sleep. what do you, you think? He got stuck in a meeting. Friend. Friend. Ladies, so hey, excuse me, ladies. He has a hard time with intimacy. Excuse me, he didn't intentionally There's something I have to tell you. What should I do? He's just not that into you. No phrase in dating history has ever revealed so much. The guy doesn't call you. He doesn't want to call you. And now the book that united single women everywhere has made its way to the big screen with an A-list cast. All of my friends used to tell me these stories about how things might work out with these dipsticks because they knew someone who knew someone who dated a dipstick just like mine, and that girl ended up getting married and living happily ever after. But that's the exception, and we're not the exception. We're the rule. Get ready, boys. Should you call back? No. Your code is about to be uncovered. He MySpaced me. My trampy little sister says MySpace is a new booty call. Oh. Now, we all know women who just cannot quite take the hint that a guy they're into is not really feeling them. And I brought some of my favorite men to help us figure out when it's time to bail out on a relationship with guys like that. We've got comedian and author Finesse Mitchell. <laughs> We've got Ant the Comic. Men's Health Magazine, Matt Bean. <laughs> and from my new hit reality television show, True Beauty, we've got CJ. <laughs> okay, so you, you guys, have you ever had to tell somebody that you just were not into them, like you just were not feeling them? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, tell me about you, Finesse. Oh, uh, well, you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. Uh, but it, Are you upfront about it, or do you like kind of just weasel away, like? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't. I don't say I'm just not that into you, sort of thing. I just, I, I, I just run. The other <laughs> way. I don't know. I've always been. I've always had a hard time hurting people's feelings, but I've always been good at making people feel good about who they are as I tell them to get out my face. Uh, okay. <laughs> but he just said you're just too fine for me. I just, you know, <laughs> yeah, I can't girl, you, girl, your girl, the way yo. Ponytail, the way it start much. way back there. That was her eyelashes, though. <laughs> you know, it just depends, but. Aunt, what yeah. about you? Have you ever well, had Well, I was somebody? on a date one time and we were driving down to Laguna and it started raining. And he goes, I made it rain. <laughs> <laughs> I go, what? He goes, I'm a witch. I go, like a broom witch? He goes, yeah, I'm a witch. I said, oh, okay. I hope this date is quick. No. We get to the restaurant. He sees people down on the, on the ocean because it was in Laguna. Uh, and he goes, oh, my God, there's some friends of mine from high school. I'll be right back. The waiter comes up, like, I'll have two glasses of wine. I don't care what he's having. And then, I, so then an hour, I'm sitting there. I go, if we're, so I left. I ditched him, right? That's how I say goodbye. I ditched him. I'm driving home, and I'm thinking, oh, God, if he flies over my house, I'm going to be in big trouble. So, yeah, but, and then he called the next day. You want to do it again? Again? <laughs> no. Hell no. What about you, Matt? You know what, I'm usually good about saying everything but I'm not that into a girl, but I dated one girl, and here, here's my rule. I am a one-girl kind of guy when I'm with a girl, and she wanted to become a stripper. She said, honey, if I become a stripper, will you still date me? I said, no. And so she became a stripper, and so I did not talk to her after that. She's sending me dirty uh, camera phone pictures, all kinds of stuff. I had to delete the number. I had to change my phone number. I had to get out of that situation. Oh, my gosh, she thought that the way to a man's heart was, like, on a pole. <laughs> That's what she thought. Something's wrong with that. In some situations, it is. But uh, and what about not you, CJ? You ever had to break a girl's heart? Uh, yes, I have. And my uh, golden rule is I, I like to be honest and upfront. And I say, at this time in my life, I'm dating my, my destiny. So that's kind of like my little backdoor. And you're out. like, and her name is Destiny Jenkins, and she lives around the corner. No, no, no. I just mean, you know, at this time, I'm focused on, you know, my career or whatever I want to do. So I just name okay. her Destiny. You just told everybody your game now, so now they know <laughs> that Destiny is probably yeah. another girl. Well, Keo and Ong say that they want their sister Nancy, who's also PK's cousin, to realize the guy she's dating is just not into her. So Keo, tell me about your sister. 
Um, I just feel that, you know, she needs an intervention from us to kind of let her know that this guy is really not into her. Um, and I just, I, I think he's like the scum of the earth. And really? I don't think she should be with him. Oh. I worked with him, and he would tell everybody that he had like seven different girlfriends, he had kids, and here and there, and he thinks he's a big player. So when I found out my sister was hanging out with him, I, was, I told her about it. She seemed a little disgusted, but she still went out with him anyways. And the fact that she's, she follows him wherever he goes, like when she stole my car and followed him to Chicago when he left without her. Oh, my god! I think that's just a little crazy, you know? A little obsessed. Um, yeah, and, and just the fact that he's 39 and she's 19. I find that very oh. disgusting. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have Ong here. Now, Ong, you say that she's gone really far and done permanent things to herself. What has she done? Um, yes, um, going to Chicago, I think, is very psychotic, but not as psychotic as getting a tattoo of his initials. She has a tattoo of his initials on her body. <laughs> on her body, on her arm, it's very visible, but she told the family that it was just a design. And actually, Kyo didn't know until on the trip here. So a producer told her. <laughs> that, that the tattoo existed. Yeah, so yeah. it was supposed to be so, like pretend a design. So and not only is this guy, he's a dad, but he's also... He's also a grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> he's, <laughs> wait, he's a granddad at 39 years old? Yeah. Yep, he's a grandpa, and you know, like, he... How is that possible? <laughs> okay, then we have PK. You're the cousin PK, right? Yep. Okay, I know that you say that he is evil. Yes. Now, tell me about the child's mother. She found out about the tattoo on yep. your cousin? Yep, through MySpace. It's his baby mama. He lives with her. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, How much do we love? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, he loves I, I love mama. that you guys are Asians and talk about baby's mama. It's not just black people. <laughs> I love that. Okay, but, okay, so she found out that he had the tattoo. Yep. She found That's out. She found out that she had the tattoo. Yep, on MySpace, and she yelled at him about it. So he called her up and was like, why'd you go get that? You're so stupid. Like... What really happened was he gave her the idea to give the tattoo. Oh. But yeah. he turned it around. He's like, why would you even have that kind of idea? I never told you to do that. So, yeah. This okay. is kind of confusing. Anybody else confused? So, your <laughs> friend who you love, who you, who you love, he's dating her, but he has a woman who has his child who he's living with. Yeah, but they're supposedly not dating. Because he's, he's using the girl yeah. who's the baby. Yeah. He's using the oh, other girl Nancy. Come on out, Nancy. <laughs> is saying that the guy you're dating is not into you. Uh, well, Do you beg to differ? You think he is? We are a couple, but without the title. And, uh, you're a couple without a title. The kids, <laughs> <or> the money. <laughs> well, you guys are just not there for the good times. Like, Keo, you didn't like him from the start already just because she worked with him and said he was a player. And PK, um, it was good from the start. Like, we all hung out until you and, until your boyfriend and him got kind of into it. And Ong just thinks I'm straight up stupid <laughs> yeah. for even talking to him, so. But sometimes our emotions take over and make us just feel crazy. Right. In fact, I think there's even like a crazy like chemical in our head when we're infatuated with somebody. And I think there's an even crazier chemical that happens when we're like chasing a man. I'm serious. <laughs> I really know it's scientific. I just don't know the words or the science, but <laughs> it's scientific. Tell me when, um, when, you, when you are with your guy and you guys um, go and do laundry, what does that mean when you say you really do laundry? <laughs> Laundry, um, it is our cold word for, um, <laughs> sex. <laughs> Cause one night, um, <laughs> one night he needed it, and so his, uh, baby mom was sleeping, was in the house, so we had to go to the laundry room. And, uh... The laundry room in his house? Yeah. And no, it's in, his, it's in the apartment building. Okay. Cause we, uh, we tried to do it in the house, but whatever, he got scared, so we had to go to the laundry room, and it was good, so... Every time he calls me, he's like, you want to do Do you laundry? hear yourself talking? <laughs> <laughs> Let me 